hello everyone and welcome back to my channel why i care about humanity <laughs> yeah so you're done with your research you with your field research reports and you've researched you've gathered all your information out there and now you're ready to write it well perhaps you want to come up with a graph like the one on the screen the one you're seeing on the screen right yeah so how exactly do you come up with one graph which looks like this well for you to interpret this graph for example you may interpret it as follows as you can see the y-axis shows the number of people who use uh, these waste disposal methods this graph shows the waste disposal methods that different people use the y-axis shows the number of people then the x-axis shows you the waste disposal methods so as you can see that um, about 30 use landfills about exactly at 20 as you can see exactly at 20 we've got the burning method and uh, we've got composting which is exactly at 40 and we've got waste compaction which is exactly at 60 so in interpreting this data you can say about 60 people when we did the research about 60 people it was found that they use waste compaction methods and about 40 people use uh, composting and about 20 use burning and about 30 use um, landfills well um, not just interpreting it but how do you create one graph like this well you can create it using um, Microsoft Excel or you can use one simple form which is Google Sheets as you can see um, you put your information properly you put your information in these cells there are a lot of cells here these are called cells a b c d e you can put in as many information as you can but we're only focusing on uh the waste disposal method so cell a1 a1 had the waste disposal methods and cell b1 had the number of people who use them so a2 a3 a4 and a5 had the waste disposal methods and b2 b3 b4 b5 had the number of people so you can manipulate it in any form of way that you want you can put any information that you want then if you want to create the um, pie graph or the graph you just select them all you do select them all like that uh, let me just so that's how I select let me just select them all so if selected then you go on um, insert after you go on insert you go on um, you insert a chart so what type of chart do you want it will tell you it's either you want your information to be in a pie for example this pie shows the information or you can um, interpret the information in you can go on these three dots you get these three dots here to change what you want um, you can edit the chart you can say edit the chart so we go and edit the chart you can edit the chart as you want and you can the setup on the setup menu you can change the chart style it can be a 3d layout or any layout that you want um, 
is it that you want a pie chart a graph a, a column chart so you can inter like you can just play with this information the way you want it to be and then when you're done now with uh, creating it you can copy the chart you can copy it and paste it where you want it to be you can copy after you, you finish creating it you can copy and paste it on your project if you're doing your project you can copy it where wherever you want to put it yeah but on interpreting it again uh it's as easy as i explained where we just say in the field research it was found that this number of people in the field research it's um according to figure one maybe you can even uh, name this chart as figure one so according to figure one this was found then when you click go when you go on google sheets again you put in the information on the cells and then when you're done you create that chart you paste it in your writings or anything and then yeah you continue just like that you can play with this this is what you should be doing you should be playing with such things <laughs> and it will teach you more in any way yeah so if you want more help on how to use this you can comment down below but i just thought it's essential that maybe someone will find this video helpful and they'll really be helped by it <laughs> but if you want a clearer clearer explanation i mean you can just inbox me on my various social media channels uh, on facebook you can find me i'm imano mwangaila on instagram imano mwangaila one and on tiktok imano mwangaila one my social medias are all Imano Mangalas in short. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I'll be publishing more helpful videos which are great. Thank you very much and uh, happy.